This is a video about what's going on behind the scenes of dog sled tours. Depending on what kind of tour it is, if it's an adventure over several days or just a short tour over a few hours, there are always a lot of things going on behind. Life before and after a dog sled tour is so much more than just a tour in itself. In this video I will show you what life is like for us before and after our short dog sled tours. This is what you see either as a guest on our sled or scrolling down social media. It's cute and happy huskies swishing along on a dog sled in a snow covered beautiful landscape. It's more happy dogs and happy people. This is what you don't see. The day usually starts very early in the morning, several hours before the tour starts to get everything done before the guests arrive. First I let all the dogs loose in the big playground and for you who haven't seen our videos before we have 50 severe huskies in our kennel. It's frozen. It was warm yesterday. Yet. Then it gets ice. It was frozen yesterday and then it gets ice. And the door sometimes gets stuck. When all dogs are let out from their kennels, I give them some snacks and food. And no fighting or growling is allowed. After feeding, it's time for pupa scooping of all 24 kennels. So now I'm in the puppy's kennel. 
Oh, puppies, yeah, they're still puppies, but they're six months now. And they live three in here. And in here is always the most shit of all kennels. And they don't stand still when they shit, and they play with the shit, so it's shit everywhere. Hey guys! Hi! Dafu! Mike! Yeah! Kiwi! Oh, homie! In Enoch! And in me! Yeah, they! And Yoppe! Yeah, Yoppe! Oh, happy guys! These chores are often done in the dark during the earliest winter months. While the dogs are still in the playground, I usually go down to our small cabin where we have clothes and boots for our guests. In this cabin there is no electrical heating, but a little wood stove instead. Then it's time to take out and prepare the sleds. For these short tours we use really big sleds where the guest sits as passengers and we drive. Sometimes it's ice under the runners so then we scrape them to get away the ice. Then fixing the lines and a soft mattress and reindeer skins for the guests to sit on. After this it's time for the dogs to go into their kennels again and I can go in for breakfast. But if it has been snowing during the night, we have some other chores to be done before even feeding the dogs. To go with the snowblower and shoveling snow in the kennel take about 30 to 40 minutes. And then we also need to prepare the trails. All this is much easier if both of us are at home, but when Matti is away on the longer tours, I do all of this by myself. For preparing the trails we use something called a snow mover. It's like combs the snow and then compresses it with some big plastic plates. This we can adjust depending on how hard we want it to scrape the snow and the trails become really nice. For the short three hour tours we do have about 15 kilometers of trails to prepare but some parts we need to drive two times. And with a snow mover you can't go too fast. So after all this is done, it's time to go in and get some breakfast and prepare the food and drinks for the tour. And then heading into town to pick up the guests. Now we're passing by the old church, we're passing by the summer school and we're heading down to the hotel. Lina's just behind me. 
she catched up. <coughs> this is one of two hotels in Jokmok, so this is Hotel Jokmok. And here we see if we've got some people waiting for us. Now we have picked up eight person from the hotel with the cars and they down in the cabin changing clothes with Stina and I starting putting out 24 dogs that we're bringing on the first tour because now we're bringing, making the first tour uh, morning tour and then we're coming home change dog changing group and we're doing another tour also after that later so today we're being we'll be on tours like six hours totally minimum when you're running tours like this it's important to know which dog have run how much they have run so i have a list like this and uh, here i see all the dogs that are on the tour and first i try to take out the ones that are a little bit more calm in the team so i leaving the crazy ones into the really end of course and then it's finally time for the tour As Matti said, we sometimes run one tour in the morning and another one in the afternoon. Evening and it's time for some poopa scooping again. Hello. Ah. Hello. Hello. Cold fingers. Cold fingers. Oh. This is your favorite. This is my to favorite do. work. It's like pick up potatoes. Sometimes you find something. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah. And now when it's frozen, it's so nice. In the evening, the dogs get frozen meat that we shop and high energy dry food with water. Mm. And the small pieces are for stream. He's old, or actually, it doesn't matter. He's 
never like the big pieces of meat. <laughs> and this one, this is for Jesse. Mm. Laban, Leila. Laban, Leila. Lisa, Peter. No, Gina. After this, it's good night to the dogs, and we can go inside for dinner. But if it has been snowing a lot or has been snowing during the day, we have some night chores to do as well. So this is how our life looks like when we run short tours, whether we are both at home or only one of us. Let us know if you like to see more backstage content and don't forget to subscribe and give a thumb up. And yeah, if you want to see more daily content, you can follow us on Instagram. So until next time, take care. Bye.